Tonight's game is an elite league game sponsored by Loughborough University Business School. Tonight sees the visit of the Five Flyers and they got a rest last night whilst the Panthers were in action against the Milton Keynes Lightning, a game narrowly lost in a shootout. The Panthers will have to skate for 60 minutes tonight if they want to get a result in front of the home crowd here at the Motorpoint Arena. The Highlight Show is brought to you in association with the Nottingham legend, Nottingham's number one family-friendly hockey pub. It's time to go to the action. Knocks it down low. There is Gautier under pressure from two Panthers. Bulmer. Battling with Hughes. Comes back here. Pinkston shot saved and it's in. On the rebound, the Flyers have scored. It's Danik Gautier. Yeah, he puts that one in. Nice point shot there. And Munson, he makes the first save, but great point shot. He doesn't go for power, he just fires it into Munson's feet. He gets a piece of it, and like you said, the rebound falls right on Gautier's stick, and he's not going to miss from there. So, Panthers actually started well, but the Flyers countered the other way, so nice zone time. Hurtubis, Pither, Kovacs, Guptil, Stewart all out there. Everyone capable. Shot by Hurtubis' block takes Fenucci to his knees. 20 seconds. Stewart goes inside and he scored. Took Shane Owen by surprise. Looked at Guptill but sent it the other way. One all. Yeah, great play there by Chris Stewart. I think that probably comes off the D-man, but he was looking, looking, looking for his options and he throws it to the back door. And it takes a lucky bounce in him, but the Panthers will take that. Great setup there by the Panthers. Kovacs was just waiting back door for the tap-in. But he doesn't get to him and Chris Stewart ties this one up. Panthers still have a minute and a half on the power play. And that far side, speed is Farmer. Her to bees. Misses him and it's chance for a breakaway here as Mike Cazola has got Bazaraba back inside here. Uses him and it's gone in. It's now 2-1 to the Flyers. They've scored short-handed. Yeah, again, the wrist there. Obviously, the uh, the Panthers try and go cross ice there. It bounces over the stick, I think, of John Rowe and goes back the other way. Bad bounce. They get the two-on-one. Pellini does a great job catching his guy almost, but he just gets a piece of it. And it kind of sneaks in by Munster. I think he was... Um, Expecting a harder shot than that, and he just gets a piece of it and it goes under his arm. So, Panthers do all the hard work and get that goal back. And the Flyers, 30 seconds later, come back down and score. So, Panthers need to get back on the board here straight away on this power play. Comes back the other way, but the Panthers will have it back. Bolduc. Good pass to Rizling. And now Lakovic. Can he get a shot away here? He's under pressure. Good defensive work. Does well. Back to Stevie Lee. Good arrow, but it's saved there by Owen. And Bolduc hits the floor. Goes at Shea now, and I think it was the, the D man that. It's Finucci though. Gets it inside to Bazaraba. Shot from Bulmer, good save by Munson. It's come off the glass and fallen to Finucci. Cuts it back in front. Munson's there again. And now here's Chris Stewart. Got two Flyers players for company. Risling. Still there, and then it's poked in. Robert Farmer, it fell to him about a yard out and he couldn't miss, two each. Yeah, great play by Chris Stewart, he drives wide, he delays and hits Rizling, that's what we've been working on. Rizling takes it to the net and it falls right to Robert Farmer, he's not going to miss from there, like we said, this line's been hot lately. And Farmer takes it to the backhand, he fires that in on the glove side. So right before the period's out, great time to score here for the Panthers and hopefully go in tied 2-2. Heard to be there looking for a redirection from Rowe, but he wasn't in the ideal spot. Billingsley stops that from going any further and Shaber down this right hand side. Got Tetlow with him. Tetlow forces him to go back to Isaacs and then in it's in again. Evan Bloodoff looks like he's going to claim this one. There was plenty of bodies there and Munson was caught out a little bit. Flyers up 3-2. Yeah again Panthers with some good possession but the Flyers managed that quick break down this right hand side. They go east to west across the blue line. And then Blood off, left alone in front. Billingsley was um, boxing out one of the forwards there, but Blood off, unchallenged, and he gets a piece of it. I think it was on the backhand. Still pressuring is Lakovic, Basaraba. 15 seconds until Guptil will return to the ice. Chance though, perhaps short-handed. Here's Bolduc. Got more for company. Bolduc shoots wide, but was. Uh, taken out by Moore. <laughs> Cup till penalty as Bolduc will take this penalty shot. He's up against Shane Owen. Bolduc shoots saved. 
Kovacs. Bolduc is in front. Space out here, though. Here he is, Bolduc. Lee. Pissara, but only as far as Kovacs. Good offensive time here for the Panthers. Lee towards the net. It's still there. Henderson on the rebound. Can't get it back across. Kovacs and Owen somehow ends up flat on the ice with the puck in his hand. 27 Guptill on this. Trying to dig it out there as the Flyers will be back to the wall for the last two seconds. Pinkston returns to the ice. Finally back to five on five. Shot on the turn. It's John Rowe. Just as the time ticked off the penalty, the Panthers have levelled it up. Three each. Yeah, great play there by Johnny Rowe. Herchabee starts the whole play off. He feeds John Rowe and Shane Owen goes for the poke check. And Johnny Showtime walks around him and goes five hole. Owen will be disappointed when he goes for the poke check and misses and it opens up the five hole. But good composure by John Rowe. And he stuffs that through the legs of Owen and he ties that one up. Risling loses out, but Lepin loses his footing and there's a man spare inside. It's Shaber. It's saved on the rebound as well. And again by Munson. What a save, second time round. Yeah, huge double save there by Munson. I think the first one hit him right in the mask. That loosens the helmet. And then the second one, he makes a huge save. And when he gets hit, the mask comes flying off. So Munson's two best saves of the game there. He saved them for the last three minutes when it counted the most. So great double save by him. Farmer gives it to the big 93. Trying to create an angle. Now Pither attacking, drops it for... Rizzling, Farmer, round back door, there it is! Robert Farmer tips it in back door, what a pass from Rizzling, the Panthers take the extra point, 4-3! Great play there by Luke Pither, but Robert Farmer's been probably our best player all night tonight. He's been banging away, he's had some chances, and he goes to the net where he gets the big body in front of the net, and Robert Farmer gets a piece of that one, and he gives the Panthers the extra point. Great game for Farms, he gets the winner. Munson with a couple of big saves at the end of regulation. Pither with that nice dish there. But Robert Farmer with the winner. Overtime for two nights in a row. A goal and a man of the match performance from you. What about that man of the match? You know, the, actually, Robert Farmer should have got that, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I think. Uh, you know, coming off yesterday's loss in overtime and then us responding with an overtime win, uh, that's huge. And, you know, we've been battling. Um, and, you know, it's, it's good that we came together and got that done. A few games at home in a row now. How will that help going into the end of the regular season? Yeah, I mean, it gives us some time to, to be able to practice at, at home, get ready, uh, play in front of our home crowd, which is always nice. Um, you know, and then we're just, you know, our focus is the playoffs and we're trying to get better every day to be firing on all cylinders by the time that time comes. So, uh, yeah, it's coming quick, and uh, we're obviously we're trending the right way right now. So we got to just keep it going. Finally, then Dundee are the next side here, a side lower down in the table, which I suppose you can look at as positive coming off this win. I mean, to be honest, in this league, you can't really look at that. We've, you know, I'm sure they're going to bring their best, and then anyone can beat anyone on, uh, in this league. So we have to be able to, you know, play our game, uh, you know, and. and play to our, our level and not to the level of, of uh, who we're playing. So we just got to concentrate on that. And, you know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We just got to play our game. A tough game uh, all the way through to overtime again. Uh, the, the only point with leading was the game winning goal. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, we had a couple of bounces not go our way tonight, but uh, we stuck with it, which was huge. Um, you know, we've been struggling a bit lately, but we stuck together and, uh, you know, we got that overtime winner and that's the only goal that counts. Uh, a few games, uh, said to John earlier, a few games in a row at home. W will that help as opposed to being on the road? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're sleeping in our own beds. John was saying we, uh, you know, we're practicing in our own rink. We uh, lots of time to rest, so it's huge. Uh, you know, it's definitely nice to get a lot of road games out of the way and play at home at the end of the season. Into the final stretch of the season, then uh, Rick Strachan, now head coach. How, how has it been since he's come in? Uh, you know, there's a little transition period, obviously. Uh, whenever assistant coach takes over, it's always uh, takes some time to get used to. But, uh, you know, Strack is doing a good job. He's really bringing us together, uh, you know, and he's, uh, he's helping us uh, find a way to win. Thank you. Two more play. Thank you.